So we decided to surprise these kids with a trip to the Peabody for the night. So where do you kids think we're going? Uh, I'll let them say because I think I know where we're going. Where do you think we're going? I don't know. Park. A park? A par an underpark. The library? The library. No. Pawpaws. Oh, Pawpaws. Pawpaws. Or do we have clothes in the back? My mom has clothes in the back. That's why she... Excited? We're going to stay yeah. at the Peabody? Yes. Yeah. All right. And they have ducks that walk. And they have ducks, so we got here early enough to see the ducks yes. at 11 o'clock. And they also do it at like 5.30. We got there right before 11, so we were just in time to watch the morning duck show. One thing to keep in mind is that this year you do need to be staying at the Peabody to be able to see the duck show due to social distancing. So check on that depending on when you're traveling to Memphis. This was my first time at this historic Peabody hotel and I'll say first impressions it's beautiful. The features and the details around everything in the hotel are absolutely beautiful. After the duck show, we went to check in, which we thought there's no way that our room would be ready because it was only 11 o'clock. But luckily, our room was ready. So after the duck show, we headed to our room. We had a superior double, so it had two double beds. The beds were very comfortable to sleep in. I was very happy with that. Comfortable pillows, comfortable mattress. They had a duck theme throughout the entire hotel, like this picture, and I thought that was just a really nice touch to everything throughout the hotel, um, just carrying out the duck theme. The bathroom was small but efficient and clean, so that worked out well. And one nice thing is we had a good view of the ballpark and nice buildings around. It was just a, a really nice surrounding. Not only is this hotel just a couple blocks from Beale Street, but the location and views were pretty good in my mind. Before we went to do our daily activities outside the hotel, we had to stop at the gift shop. And oh my goodness, it is so cute in there with all of the ducky items. I had to get this duck umbrella because it was raining, but um, I just really liked the gift shop and how it was just centered around the ducky theme. Check out my channel for another video about top things to do in Memphis. After we left the hotel, we went and ran around the city for a little bit, which was a lot of fun. Um, but I'm going to focus on the Peabody in this video. Before we left the hotel, we talked to the Duck Master and he set it up so the kids could be part of the red carpet team for the PM Duck March. We had to get back to the hotel by 4.30 for this, and my kids would not let us miss it. Next, we headed to the pool because this is always one of my children's top musts when we're on vacation. The pool wasn't too large, but it was warm. The hot tub was closed because of the current social distancing restrictions, but still I'm glad they got to swim. So we decided to eat at Chez Philippe. I would give it an eight out of 10. So I'll run through what we got and what we thought. The drinks were great. All the Shirley Temples I thought were amazing. I had gotten a coffee and Irish cream with whipped topping drink. My sister had gotten the ducky drink. I think it had Malibu in it. And then for dinner, I really liked my mushroom ravioli with cream sauce. Um, the burger was amazing according to the person who ate it. 
my daughter loved her chicken fingers the one thing that was not very good at all was the kids grilled cheese and now you might think like why even review that but it was ten dollars for a grilled cheese and it was so hard um, I thought my son's gums might start bleeding from the hard toast around it. It looked great, but wasn't great. So if it weren't for that grilled cheese, I would give it a higher rating, but I'd say eight out of 10 for this restaurant. The dessert, we got this ducky mousse and also the strawberry ice cream, which both of those were pretty good. One nice thing about Chez Philippe is that we were able to have the room kind of all to ourselves, and so it was a really nice environment and relaxing that I did love. A little bit more about the room, we all slept great. We played some board games and we didn't hear a lot of outside noise from other rooms for a historic hotel. I think it had a lot of good noise control in the morning, we did go to the bakery and we just got breakfast items. There's free coffee for guests at the bakery until I think it was 10 a.m. Now I wish we would have went in the afternoon and got some desserts because the desserts looked great but we just didn't have time to do that. Overall, I'd score the Peabody a nine out of 10. It was a very good hotel to stay at. I hope you liked my review. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to see more content like this.